Hey everybody, I gave an introduction to our unit on the French Revolution and Napoleon this week and I thought in case you missed class or just wanted to have a, a refresher on the introduction, I would go ahead and make this video. You know, uh, based on the political, economic, and social change that the French Revolution brought to Europe and the rest of the world, I think you certainly would have to uh, put it in the categories of one of the most significant events that has ever taken place in the history of Western civilization. And yet, at the same time, it can be somewhat confusing because there are like a lot of moving parts and a lot of things that happen. So what I've always done is tried to, uh, I guess I've always wanted to create a framework by which we could understand the revolution and kind of order our ideas and thoughts. So I'm gonna direct your attention to the board behind me and hopefully this will help over the next couple of weeks as we work our way through the revolution. So um, let me show you what I have up here on the top. Of course, I entitled it the French Revolution, Napoleon, 1789 to 1815. And I drew a circle on the board and let me walk us through what I call the various phases of the revolution. Because that's why I like to refer to it. The various phases, the stages that the revolution goes through. I think that's the easiest way to understand it. So let me, uh, let me start by going up here to 1789, Louis XVI, he is an absolute monarch. He is the undisputed leader of France. We talked about what an absolute monarch is. It is a king or queen that has total authority over their country. And so in 1789, France has an absolute form of government in the form of King Louis XVI. So as we get to the first phase of the revolution, which I am going to call the moderate phase, 1789 to 1791, the major change that's gonna take place for France during this time is that France will become a limited monarchy, okay? King Louis XVI is still king, but he's limited by a constitution. So that's the major change in the moderate phase is that France moves from an absolute monarchy to a limited monarchy. But then as the revolution takes a more radical or extreme turn, France's government is going to change, okay? And the radical phase, 1792 to 1794, is going to see France become a republic. A republic is a form of government where the people hold the, the, people hold the power along with their elected representatives. That's a republic. You do not have a monarch. So during the radical phase of the revolution, King Louis XVI will be no more. I'll save how that all happens for a later video, but as we move from the moderate phase to the radical phase, Louis XVI will be out of the picture. We have a republic, the monarchy is abolished, okay? But then as the revolution becomes less extreme, less radical, you see another group come into power. Uh, they're called the Directory. It's a group of five that governed France from approximately 1795 to 1799. Uh, um, and you know, they take back some of the rights that have been given to people, they take back some of the power. It becomes more of a limited government, okay? No longer a republic, it becomes a limited form of government until 1799 and a very, very significant person comes on the scene and that person is Napoleon, okay? So Napoleon participates in a coup or an overthrow of the government in 1799, they're successful. And then from 1800 to 1815, Napoleon is the leader of France, he declares himself emperor, and he is an absolute ruler. So what's very interesting about the French Revolution is that it starts with an absolute form of government in Louis XVI. It goes to a limited form during the moderate phase. It moves to a republic during the radical phase. It moves back to a limited form of government during the directory. And then it ends up back with an absolute form of government with Napoleon. So um, very, very fascinating. You'll notice that right now, there is nothing on the inside of the circle and that's okay for now. But you know what? It won't stay that way because we over the next few weeks are going to discuss all of the significant events that make up the French Revolution. Um, it's gonna be exciting. I'm looking forward to it. This circle, trust me, will be full of key events and we're gonna put everything in order so we can fully understand the incredible events that make up the French Revolution. So, hey, I'm looking forward to it over the next few weeks. Look forward to seeing you back in class, and um, I will be back with you soon. Bye.